All right, in this video, I'll be showing us how to use Forex Factory on PC. All you need to do is come to your um, URL bar after opening your browser, of course, and type in www.forexfactory.com and go. So it brings you to forexfactory.com. Uh, but if you notice, the time here is not the same time I have on my laptop. I have 5, 10, 2 p.m. on my laptop. But on, on here, it's 4, 20 p.m. So the first thing I want to do is I want to update my time. You can even see it up here as well. You can see the time here is not correct. So I just click on the time icon. I just tap on it here. Then I want to switch over. Since I'm in Nigeria, I'll be switching this to UTC plus 1. GMT plus 1, rather, not UTC. GMT plus one, which is West Central Africa. West Central Africa, GMT plus one. So I see, once I do that, I save the settings. Then it automatically updates my time. Now I'll just need to click on this Forex Factory icon here and go back. So I can now see that my time is updated to 5.20 p.m. here and 5.20 p.m. here. Then depending on your um, preference, I personally have to like to view my charts or I like to view Forex Factory for the whole week. So I just tap on this here, this September, this um particular date icon here. I just tap on it. Once I tap on it, I'll now change the default view to show for the week. So look at the default view. I can now show view for this week. If you want to have for this day, you can just click on today. If you want to have for tomorrow, you can do that. But I like to have for the whole week. So after doing that, I apply my settings. Then it automatically updates. Now it shows me everything I expect or everything that happened this week or that is to happen um, in the coming week. Since we're already in Saturday, you see that everything here has already occurred. Yeah. The next thing I want to do is looking at the folders, we already know that these folders show us the level of impact. So the yellow folder is the low impact. The um, white folder is non-economic or no impact. The red folder is the high impact. Then your the orange folder is the medium impact. So depending on what you want, you can just click on this filter here. Once you click on filter here, you can select whatever you want it to show. I personally like to have it all so that I know or I am informed of what is happening. You can also select the currencies you want it to show. For instance, if I were to select or deselect this one and leave only the high impact selected, then deselect all the currencies and select only the USD, then apply my filter. You see that it shows me only the high impact fundamentals I expect for the USD or I expected. In fact, anything that has to do with USD that is high impact, that's what it should show. You get. So I can change this back and show all. Just select all there and select all here. Then I would apply filter. So now it shows me all impacts, all fundamentals uh, for the week. Yeah, then the next thing is its usage, the usage of it. So you can see here there is the actual, there's the forecast, and there is the previous. And also in here, there is a folder that shows you the detail. For instance, the detail on this GB, G, this particular fundamental here, you can easily get it from here. Once you tap on it, it shows you the detail of it. So it says it is the change, that's GDP, from the GBP region. So it is the change in the total volume of value of all goods and services produced by the economy. So it also says that the actual greater than forecast is good for currency. Uh, but I personally like to look at it in the way of colors. So anytime it comes out red, it is a clear indication just from the color detail, the color information is a clear, um, it's the clear insight that, oh, this is negative. If it comes out red like this, it shows you already that it is negative. And if it comes out green, it is positive. If it comes out as black, it's trying to tell you that the actual was neither greater than the forecast nor less than the forecast. So it came out at the same as was forecasted. So that's how to use it. So most of the time, when it comes out like this, it is, um, it's trying to tell you that, oh, whatever came out was positive, was good for that currency. 
especially when it's green. When it comes out as red, it's straight data. Whatever came out was um, um, negative, done negative in comparison to what was forecasted for that particular um, fundamental. And when it comes out black like this, it tells you that, oh, it came out the same as was forecasted. So um, you, if you, um, you should, I recommend that you follow this channel, subscribe to this channel. Then you can also check out other um, videos on your screen at the top, at the top left, the bottom right, and bottom left as well. You can also check out other videos and subscribe to the channel. Then we have um, playlists um, that you can check out, showing you how to do stuff, how to trade strategies you can use for trading. Thank you. Have a lovely day.